Well, giant pandas considered as China's national treasure are extremely endangered. As the only country home to giant pandas, China began to protect them in the 60s. How many of them are left? A new national survey sheds some light on the question. Wu Guoshu has more. Do all giant pandas live in zoos? The answer is no. More and more are being detected in the wild. The survey showed that by the end of 2013, the population of wild giant pandas across the country reached 1,864, an increase of 16.8 percent from the last survey 10 years ago. The population of captive giant pandas is 375. China has conducted its fourth national survey of giant pandas. Wild giant pandas can only be found in Shanxi, Gansu and Sichuan provinces, with over 70 percent in Sichuan. The species' steady increase in numbers has been attributed to legislation, state-funded protection and research programs. According to the survey, though their numbers are on the rise, one-third of the wild giant pandas, or about 600, are still not in nature reserves. They're broken up into small groups by power stations, roads, high-voltage power lines, all of which seriously threaten their lives and reproduction. Authorities have vowed tough measures to protect the species. From this year, we will absolutely not allow tourism, mining, or building parks and villas in or around giant panda habitats. We will expand nature reserves as much as possible and channel the 33 isolated groups in three or five years. International cooperation is also an important part of panda research. China plans to continue with this. Since the 1990s, China has not given any pandas away as gifts. We selected foreign rules to cooperate in research with us. Currently, 42 panda adults and cubs are living abroad in 12 countries. China's authorities believe that the survival of the giant panda cannot be completely left up to nature, but to a greater extent on the care and management by humans. Wu Guoxiu, CCTV, Beijing.